Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal bringing you today's video uh, from Cork in Ireland for a change. Also using a different microphone, I love to leave the uh, microphone names in the video descriptions because people do ask me about them sometimes. This is a Samson Q2U, which I've heard only good things about and I was very impressed with the uh, audio quality the first time I used it. Usually I'm using the Audio-Technica uh, AT2020, which is a podcasting microphone. This is a dynamic microphone, but I actually really think I was very impressed with the audio quality on this microphone. Um, I want to talk today about the auto uh, translate captions feature on YouTube because I've done a number of videos about using it to learn Hebrew. Um, I think for language learners, learning languages via uh, whatever media you can find, whether it's films or music videos, is just an incredible way to learn languages. And when YouTube rolled out this feature uh, for Hebrew, it was uh, opened up a whole world of uh, content to me. So people are asking questions, I can't get it to work. And I thought I'd cover or explain two reasons uh, why that might be the case. So the first reason, and I've explained this in previous videos, is that currently this is only a feature available on YouTube desktop. So whether you're using YouTube from your computer or from your laptop, in other words, a desktop device. Now, a couple of interesting articles reporting on this feature from March of this year, Google at their annual dev conference um, explained that captioning and uh, translating is going to be a big focus for the coming year. So they're currently really, really pushing out this feature. The feature, as I've explained in these videos, is that if you have captions in one language, let's say you have a YouTube video that has English captions, um, if you're watching that YouTube video from a compatible device like a desktop um, or like a media center, you'll get a little option called auto translate and you can translate those captions automatically in real time into any language in the world. So this is bringing amazing accessibility to YouTube. Firstly, as I said, for language learners and secondly, for YouTube uh, content creators who want to broaden their audience beyond the people who speak their language incredible incredibly powerful feature now the rollout is currently ongoing and uh, the coverage i found from march of this year explained what languages youtube have rolled this out this is coming from um, android central so they say the list is currently 16 languages and it is an ongoing rollout so if you have captions added to your video in one of these languages you're going to be able to auto translate them but at the moment this is a list so the languages are arabic uh, traditional chinese dutch english french German, Hindi, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Thai. Now that's not always the case there. I have uh, been able to, as I mentioned for Hebrew, uh, find a video that had Hebrew captions and then use auto translate to get them into English. So there are uh, more languages being, being rolled out, but uh, this list might actually reflect what's currently available on mobile devices because on mobile, the auto translate only works for certain languages. And as far as I'm aware, those are the languages that it'll work for those that limited pool of 16. The rollout is currently ongoing. So hopefully in uh, due course, YouTube is going to add auto translate captions to every uh, language supported on the platform. But at the moment, this is the uh, current, re current state of the rollout. Hope this video is interesting. If you're also using the auto translate feature on YouTube for language learning, or you just want to make your videos accessible to more people than who speak your language. If you do want to get more info um, about YouTube on this channel, do subscribe. Thanks for watching.